Hello everyone, I am here with another fable. This is called The Lion and the Gnat. I don't see a gnat. Oh, there it is. It's in a spider web, it looks like. Sorry, a notification always pops up every time I start reading one of these. Do you guys ever get sick of notifications and the same ones pop up over and over again? I wish I could stop them all from... I don't know how to do that, though. All right, let's read this one, The Lion and the Gnat. A lion was enraged by a gnat that was buzzing around his head, but the gnat was not in the least disturbed. Do you think, he said spitefully, that I am afraid of you because you called me king? Then he flew at the lion and stung him sharply on the nose. In a fury, the lion struck at the gnat, but only succeeded in tearing himself with his claws. Again and again the gnat stung the lion, who was now roaring terribly. At last, worn out with rage and covered with wounds, made by his own teeth and claws, the lion gave up the fight. The gnat buzzed away to tell the whole world about his victory, but instead flew straight into a spider's web. There he, who had defeated the king of beasts, came to a miserable end, the prey of a little spider. What do you think the moral to this story is? What do you think it is, Jerm? What do you think the moral to this story Don't is? Don't bug the lion. Don't bug the lion. Let's see what it says. The least of our enemies is often the most to be feared. The person you think may not be able to fight or may not be the smart one or whatever. You think they're the nicest or the meanest. They may turn out to be totally different than what you think they are. That happens a lot. So I hope you guys enjoyed that story, and we have one more, and this book will be finished.